John Nio and Justin Rogers talk about the Lions-Bengals game in Cincinnati on Sunday. Detroit News Lions receiver Marvin Jones is poised for the first 1-0-0-0 yard season of his career, photo, Daniel Mears, Detroit News. Alan Park, Marvin Jones admits to some growing pains. And that was to be expected, jumping from one team to the next, leaving behind one home to make another, and going from understudy to a leading role. But as Jones prepares to head back to Cincinnati this weekend, facing his former team and one of his early mentors in the NFL as the Lions meet the Bengals with a playoff spot still within reach, he insists he feels none of that. Not the nostalgia, nor the pain, which has given way to this year's growth for Jones, now playing more like the no. One receiver that Lions general manager Bob Quinn hoped he'd signed with his first major free agent deal in March 2016. The 27-year-old Jones, named a Pro Bowl alternate earlier this week, ranks fifth in the NFC in receiving yards, 970, and is tied for sixth in the league with eight touchdown catches. More, Pro Bowl snub, selection process Irk Lions Quinn. And while he says there's nothing sentimental about this return to Cincinnati, Jones remains close with Bengal star AJ. Green and other receivers from his days there, including Mohamed Sanu, who's now with Atlanta. They are still on a group text together, chiming in on each other's performances throughout the season. And after last week's highlight reel catch against the Bears, which followed others like that one-handed TD grab in New Orleans or the ridiculous catch over a pair of Vikings defenders on Thanksgiving, Green's comment was, there he goes again. The way the season has gone, it's clear Jones is more comfortable now as he tries to live up to the five-year, $40 million deal he signed after his rookie contract expired in Cincinnati. Obviously, I was brought here for a reason, he said. It takes time that was to try to fill the void left by Calvin Johnson's retirement, something Jones looked ready to do initially last season, piling up 400-plus yards in his first few games in Detroit, including a 205-yard, two-touchdown performance at Green Bay. He'd put the Lions on his list of nearly a dozen free agent destinations two years ago, and told himself they'd move to the top if Johnson went through with his retirement plans. When Johnson did, Jones got a call from Detroit a couple hours later. By the end of the next day, he'd agreed to terms. Yet that was the easy part, he says, even if it didn't feel like it at the time. The hard part would be fitting in with a new team, a new offensive system, and building a rapport with a new quarterback, who'd spent the first seven years of his pro career doing the same with a likely Hall of Famer. Jones isn't there yet, far from it but the progress is starting to show, poised for the first 1-0-0-0 yard season of his career. After last year's fast start fizzled and left him grousing about a disappointing debut in Detroit, he had just 19 catches for 274 yards and no scores the second half of 2016. Jones spent time this past off-season working with NFL legend Randy Moss in Charlotte, North Carolina. They connected through Lions strength coach Harold Nash, who'd worked with Moss in that same role in New England.